Welcome to CPCS Questions and Answers. The latest questions and answers for A26 Mobile Elevating Work Platform. Boom, Theory Test, 2021, UK. Question 1. Why are those who operate MEWPs generally regarded as safety critical workers? The answer is because the actions of these operators using machines can lead to serious health and safety issues. Question 2. What are the possible outcomes of facing prosecution for not complying with legislation and regulations? The answer is. If facing prosecution at the court hearing there are two possible outcomes. 1. You can prove that you fulfilled the legal requirements and you are probably going to be found not guilty. 2. You are found guilty and you face a prison sentence or a substantial fine. Question 3. How do stabilizers increase the potential stability of a MEWP? The answer is. By enlarging the machine's footprint to greater than that of the wheels. Question 4. Using the operator's manual, state any cold starting procedures for the machine. For electric units only, state the battery function checks that need to be made. Note, the operator's manual for the machine being used for the test must be available for reference by the candidate. The answer is. You will have to identify the paragraph that describes the cold starting procedure and read it. The page number must be quoted as well. Question 5. Why should a diesel MEWP be refueled at the end of the day? The answer is. The machine should be refueled at the end of the day to prevent condensation building up in the tank as it's cooling down. Question 6. When checking fluid levels, why must gloves be worn? The answer is. Gloves must be worn to avoid fluids contact with the skin which can cause skin problems. Question 7. On IC engines, during work, the engine starts to overheat. Explain the danger if someone tries to remove the radiator or expansion tank cap. The answer is. Removing the radiator tank cap will cause the hot liquid inside to be released under pressure and could cause burns. Question 8. If a self-propelled MEWP is being traveled or working on the public highway, including adjacent pavement and verges, the Road Traffic Act applies. A. What type of license and which classes should the operator hold? And B. What is the minimum age allowed? The answer is. A. Full UK or EU driving license category B. B minimum 21 years old question 9 apart from the operator who else may need to use the machine's operators manual the answer is maintenance staff supervisors and transporter drivers question 10 when setting up for work what should be in place should machine failure happen the answer is a rescue plan is known to all relevant personnel. Question 11. What is the purpose of the counterweight of the machine? The answer is. The counterweight purpose is to reduce the overturning risk of the machine. Question 12. Before leaving the cab or platform for a rest break, after parking and switching off the machine, what final action must be carried out? The answer is. Isolation of the machine to prevent unauthorized use. Question 13. A. Why should the working height or reach of the task need to be accurately known when selecting a MEWP? And B. Give two possible effects if the figure is inaccurate. The answer is. A. In order to be able to conduct the task safely and efficiently. B. 1. Risk of overextension. 2. Works may be postponed. Question 14. What must you take into account when calculating the safe working load of the platform of a MEWP? The answer is. 
the maximum capacity set by the manufacturer together with the entire load. Question 15. Give three reasons that may cause the machine to tip forwards. The answer is. 1. Excessive reach. 2. Traveling on slopes. 3. Failure to deploy fitted stabilizers. Question 16. Apart from ground conditions, list 5 checks that must be taken into account when using the MEWP. The answer is. 1. Wind speed. 2. Overhead obstructions. 3. Personnel segregation. 4. Power lines. 5. Other vehicles and plant movements. Question 17. What is the purpose of a risk assessment? The answer is. To identify and place control measures on hazards. Question 18. When can a MEWP work on sloping ground? The answer is. Only when the MEWP has self-level link chassis designed for such a purpose. Question 19. How can a qualification or card benefit a plant operator? The answer is. The operator can prove his skills, have better prospects of employment and promotion. Question 20. What would happen if the steering axle is to the rear of the direction for travel? The answer is. The steering would be reversed. Question 21. If using a MEWP in an area where there are moving vehicles, state three precautions to be taken. The answer is. 1. Segregation of the entire MEWP working area from any moving vehicles to prevent collision. 2. Ensure that any extending parts decks or platforms are not in the path of moving vehicles. 3. Ensure there is no risk to collide with other lifting devices working in area. 4. If working in the vicinity of an aerodrome or airfield using a MEWP in excess of 10 meters in height, the airfield manager should be contacted to get permission to work in the area. Question 22. The operator has been asked to drive a self-propelled MEWP onto a transporter or a trailer. A. Who is responsible for the loading operations, and B. State four actions to be considered by the operator before loading commences. The answer is. A. The transporter driver is responsible for the loading operation. B. 1. A level area with sufficient room to maneuver should be selected. 2. Check for overhead obstructions. 3. The machine should be clean. 4. The transporter should be suitable and in good condition. 5. The ramps should be adjusted to fit the machine. 6. The operator's manual should be consulted to find the loading procedure. 7. The area should be clear of people and other plants. Question 23. Using the operator's manual, state the figure for the tire pressures and battery checks procedure. For tracked boom types, state checks must be made to the track belts. Note, the operator's manual for the machine being used for the test must be available for reference by the candidate. The answer is. The operator's manual will be provided by the test center and you will have to look at the index and find the chapter that describes the tire pressure and battery checks, go there and read the figure for the tire pressure or the battery check procedure. The page number must be read as well. Question 24. List six typical subject areas that should be covered in a site induction. The answer is. 1. First aid. 2. Escape routes. 3. Lifting operations. 4. Working at heights. 5. Site layout and welfare facilities. 6. Working in confined spaces. 7. Method statements. 
Question 25. A. What is meant by the working range of the MEWP, and B. Who determines it? The answer is. A. The maximum allowed lift accordingly to the load center. B. The manufacturer. Question 26. If setting up to work near a steep slope, apart from ground support. A. What could be a danger, and B. What actions should be taken? The answer is. A. Movement of the machine. B. Implement a barrier system or ensure that the work is within level confines. Question 27. On vehicle mounted MEWPs, what main precautions should be taken before traveling on the public highway? The answer is. The width and height of the machine. Question 28. State the purpose of the check valves located on the boom or scissor cylinder, ram, or ram circuit. The answer is. The check valve helps prevent unintentional boom lowering during pressure drops or in the eventuality of a burst pipe. Question 29. As a machine for the lifting of persons, the MEWP must be thoroughly examined. A. What is the purpose of the examination, and B. Who should carry out the examination? The answer is. A. To check for defects outside daily and weekly checks. B. Competent and authorized personnel. Question 30. If traveling near an open trench which has a depth of 2 meters, what is the minimum distance to maintain? The answer is. Minimum 2 meters of distance. Question 31. When working in a confined area or space with a diesel-powered machine, name three dangers that can be present. The answer is. 1. Fumes. 2. Noise. 3. Reduced visibility. 4. Proximity hazards. Question 32. When sitting the MEWP for work, what checks must be made to the ground type? The answer is. 1. Check if the ground is able to support the load. 2. Check if the ground is suitably packed. Question 33. Before climbing or descending a slope, what four factors should be checked? The answer is 1. Chassis clearance 2. Condition of ground 3. Direction of travel 4. Traction Question 34. Name three ways that a hired in MEWP operator can contribute to ensuring repeat business with the client or principal contractor. The answer is 1. Compliance with the method statements. 2. Cooperation with the workforce. 3. Safe working practices. Question 35. A. What is the purpose of a method statement, and B. What is required of the operator? The answer is. A. A method statement describes how the work will be done safely and efficiently. B. The operator must be compliant with the method statement. Question 36. What is meant by a bifuel MEWP? The answer is. A MEWP that has both an internal combustion engine and an electric engine. Question 37. What is the definition of, or how can a hazard be described? The answer is. A hazard is anything that can cause harm to people, property, or the environment. Question 38. If set up to lift in a pedestrianist area, state two factors that need to be taken into account. The answer is. 1. Machine movements. 2. Segregation of pedestrians and works. 3. Fumes. 4. Noise. Question 39. Give two reasons why it is important that a MEWP is not leaning sideways before attempting to raise the platform. The answer is. 
The safety features should prevent the machine from raising the platform however, if raising does occur then the machine will 1. Be unstable 2. Tip over sideways Question 40. Give four reasons that may cause the MEWP to tip over sideways. The answer is 1. Operating across slopes 2. Traveling with speed when turning. 3. Uneven ground. 4. Soft tires. Question 41. What determines the type of harness that can be worn when operating a MEWP boom? The answer is. A formal risk assessment can make the determination. Question 42. What three main duties of the Health and Safety at Work Act must employees follow? The answer is 1. Protect themselves and others who may be affected by their acts or omissions. 2. Cooperate with the employer. 3. Avoid interference, intentionally or recklessly with anything provided for safety. Question 43. If raising the platform up to a ceiling of a structure, why must extra care be taken when nearing the ceiling? The answer is. Extra care must be taken to prevent crushing the personnel inside the platform. Question 44. Name four different types or levels of disciplinary actions or sanctions that can be applied, by employers and judicial bodies, to operators of plants who do not comply with or follow legislation and regulations? The answer is 1. Verbal warnings 2. Written warnings 3. Loss of the job, dismissal 4. Prosecution 5. Fine 6. Prison sentence Question 45. Before taking passengers up in a MEWP, what should be ensured about the individual or individuals? The answer is. Ensure that the passengers are capable to work at height. Question 46. If required to wear a safety harness or belt. A. Where must it be attached to? And B. Where should the harness not be attached to? The answer is. A. Manufacturer provided point. B. Objects outside the machine. Question 47. A. What determines the minimum distances that any part of plant and machinery has to be kept from overhead electricity lines? And B. Explain why a distance should be kept. The answer is. A. The amount of voltage that runs through the electricity lines and the support used for the electricity lines wooden poles or metal poles. B. Because the electricity can arch or jump gaps. Question 48. What are the three actions that a MEWP operator undertakes during pre-use inspections? The answer is. 1. Checks are done according to the manufacturer's specifications. 2. Record the checks. 3. Report any defects. Question 49. What three types of information may be found on the operating envelope chart of a MEWP boom? The answer is. 1. Boom configuration. 2. Radius. 3. Machine SWL. Question 50. What does the Health and Safety at Work Act require employers to do with regards specifically to plant? The answer is. The employer must ensure the plant is safe and maintained. Question 51. How can high wind speeds affect MEWP operations? The answer is. High reach can attract instability, possibly overturning the machine. Question 52. Name two factors that determine the weight of a load. The answer is 1. Density 2. Size Question 53. 
name for ways that wet weather affects MEWP operations. The answer is 1. Poor visibility 2. Reduced traction 3. Soft ground conditions 4. Slippery surfaces Question 54. If setting up to work near a bank, what is the recommended minimum distance between the stabilizers and the top of the bank? The answer is 1. Height of the slope plus width of the slope, top to bottom, multiply by 2. 2. Edge of the pad to the edge of the slope. The largest distance applies formal calculations are contained from many sources including Syria publication C703. Question 55. When or why would foam-filled tires be specified for platform operations? The answer is. In the situation where there is a risk of puncture. Question 56. The safe working load, SWL, means exactly what? The answer is. The maximum weight that the machine can lift. Question 57. An operator has to drive a vehicle mounted MEWP along a stretch of the public highway, for which the Road Traffic Act applies. List six requirements that must be followed. The answer is 1. The vehicle must be insured. 2. The vehicle must be taxed. 3. The tires must be in good condition and clean. 4. The lights must be in working condition. 5. The driver must have the correct driving license. 6. The MEWP must be free of load. Question 58. A. Why must all travel and platform controls be clearly marked as to function and direction or mode, and B. What consequences could occur if controls were not clearly marked? The answer is. A. Because the operator will select the required modes and direction more easily. B. The operator might perform a machine movement unintentionally and cause an accident. Question 59. When parking the machine at the end of the shift, name three places where the MEWP should not be parked. The answer is. 1. Do not park in front of entrances or exits. 2. Do not park on soft ground. 3. Do not park on pedestrian routes. 4. Do not park on slopes. 5. Do not park close to trenches or stockpiles. Question 60. Where should the operator's manual be kept and why? The answer is. The operator's manual should be kept on the machine in a place where the operator has easy access. Question 61. What is the meaning of this hand signal being demonstrated by the tester? The answer is. The tester will show you a hand signal which you will have to identify. Question 62. The operator has to use a new type of MEWP that they are unfamiliar with. What do regulations i.e. Pure 98 and other guidance require the operator to have? The answer is. The operator is required to have the correct instruction, training, and up-to-date information on that particular MEWP. Question 63. Name three ways in which an operator can minimize their impact upon the environment whilst using the machine. The answer is. 1. Switch off the engine while the machine is not in use. 2. Check tires pressure. 3. Do not overfill while refueling, clean up any spillage. 4. Dispose of any waste correctly. 5. Plan the work prior to starting to maximize work efficiency. Question 64. What is the difference between A a work restraint system, and b, a fall arrest system. The answer is a, a work restraint system is a preventive restraint whose scope is to prevent falls from height. b, 
a fall arrest system has the scope of preventing the personnel from touching the ground in the eventuality of a fall from height. Thank you for watching and good luck for your test. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to support this channel.